to all. In this lesson, we are still under the same subtopic 8.1 limits, but now we want to find limit using factorization method. So, consider the property where the limit of a quotient of two function, or we call as rational function. This property is, if we have the limit of fx divided by gx, then we can open up the bracket and then we're going to get rational function, which is limit of x approaches a of fx divided by limit of x approaches a gx. But bear in mind, your denominator function must not equal to 0. And then, you might encounter a case after direct substitution, you're going to get 0 over 0 as your final answer. And we call this as indeterminate case. As we know, indeterminate case cannot be your final answer. So, in order to change the final answer, we only have two options by using factorization or multiplication by conjugate. For this lesson, we're going to learn how to solve this situation by using factorization method. Let's proceed with example 3. Compute each of the following limits. So part A, we have limit of x approaches 3 of x squared minus 3, sorry, x squared minus 9. Let's proceed with example 3. Compute each of the following limits. Part A, we have to find limit of x approaches 3 of x squared minus 9 divided by x minus 3. From previous lesson, we already learned that from here, if you want to find the limit, just directly substitute the limit value into your limit function. In this case, if we substitute this, this would be equal to 3 squared minus 9 divided by 3 minus 3. And you're going to get 0 over 0, which in this case we call as indeterminate answer. So now we have to manipulate the limit function. As we have a quadratic function there, we know we can factorize this out. So this will be equal to limit x approaches 3 of x minus 3, x plus 3 as we factorize the quadratic equation, divided by x minus 3. After that, we already know that x minus 3 can be cancelled out. Now, try again substitute the limit value into the limit function. So, this will be equal to 3 plus 3 and you're going to get 6 as your final answer. Let's try again for part B. Now, we have limit of x approaches negative 1 of 4x squared plus x minus 3 divided by x plus 1. Once again, after you try directly substitute the limit, you're going to get once again 0 over 0 as your final answer, which is indeterminate case. So, we don't have any other choice but to factorize our quadratic equation. So, this would be equal to limit of x approaches negative 1 of 4x minus 3 times with x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. After you manipulate the equation, you can figure out that something can be simplified, which in this case, x plus 1 can be cancelled out. Once again, try to substitute the limit value into your function. So this will be equal to 4 times with negative 1 minus 3 and you're going to get minus 7 as your final answer. Part C, we have limit of t approaches 0 of 3 plus t squared minus 9 divided by t. Try substitute once again, you're going to get 0 over 0. So this is indeterminate case. So 
apply the same method, try to manipulate your equation. In this case, we have a problem where our numerator equation is not in a proper quadratic form. So, we have to simplify this first. First, you have to open up your bracket. So, this would be equal to limit of t approaches 0 of 9 plus 6 t plus t squared minus 9 divided by t. Now, try to simplify your equation. So, 9 minus 9 can be cancelled out. So, now you have a proper quadratic equation. Factorize that equation. So, we have limit of t approaches 0 of t, 6 plus t, divided by t. There you go. You now can cancel out t equation and once again try to substitute your limit value into your limit function so we're gonna get 6 plus 0 final answer will be 6 last one part d we have limit of y approaches 3 of 2y squared plus 4y minus 30 divided by 3y minus 9 and once again this is indeterminate case. So, try to factorize completely your equation first. So, we have limit of y approaches 3 of. So, first part, numerator equation, try to simplify that one first without factorize it. So, we can factorize 2 outside. We're going to get y squared plus 2y minus 15 divided by for denominator part we can factorize 3 outside so we're gonna get 3 times with y minus 3 after that you can simplify once again your numerator part where you have to factorize the quadratic equation so we're gonna get 2 times with y minus 3 times with y plus 5 divided by 3 times with y minus 3. Now, in this case, we can cancel out y minus 3. And last step, substitute back your limit value into your limit function. So, we're going to get 2 times with 3 plus 5 divided by 3. And your final answer will be 16 over 3.